What do you get when you mix 3,000 people, pour them into Barlow Park and leave them there for 18 hours? You end up with Kansas Relay for Life 2011. Relay for Life is an annual event that is organised by the Queensland Cancer Council. This event began in the year 2000 and the citizens of Cairns joined the cause in 2002. It is aimed at supporting more than a thousand people each year in far north Queensland who are diagnosed with having cancer. Each year team members hold fundraisers to raise money which goes to the Queensland Cancer Council. This enables the Queensland Cancer Council to be able to continue providing funding for many vital services for cancer patients and their families. Services such as counselling and support groups across the state are funded from these proceeds. These funds also go towards research into a cure as well as educating medical professionals involved in the treatment and care of patients. A substantial amount also goes towards providing financial assistance to cancer patients such as paying for wigs when they lose their hair due to treatment received. This money also goes towards providing lodgings for patients and their families when they are waiting for treatment. In 2011, Cairns opened a new lodge which can house up to 32 people at one time. However, Relay for Life is not all about raising funds for the Queensland Cancer Council. It is also about supporting and celebrating the lives of those who have survived their battle with cancer. It is also about remembering those who have been loved and lost. Cancer does not discriminate against anyone and can take a loved one without any warning. The candlelight ceremony brings home the message of all the lives affected by cancer, not only in Cairns, but across the entire world. It is also a very potent reminder of what happens to family members left behind when their loved ones have lost their battle with cancer. Despite the sorrow and pain that surrounds cancer, there is always hope for the future. Every relay walker is walking in the hope that one day events like this will no longer be required as cancer will no longer exist. So as the relay countdown clock starts its wind down, 3,000 walkers in Cairns prepare to spend the next 18 hours walking in the honour of those who are currently fighting the cancer battle and for those who no longer can. So with their spirits soaring and their batons held high, the walkers begin the walk for life. The spirited walkers come in all shapes and sizes. From the very young to the very old. From the crazy to the more serious. To the famous and the not so famous. But for 18 hours, they all walk to the beat of one drum, uniting together as one. Not all walkers make it through the night and manage to find a place to rest their weary heads. While they sleep, others set about entertaining those who are still awake. But eventually, even the mighty lose their battle against sleep and succumb to the comforts of slumber. Then, as the day breaks and the walkers are awakened, Messages of cancer prevention are sent to all in a hope that less families will feel the effects of such a horrible disease. The clock is wound down and the relay is coming to an end. Once again, the weary walkers are congratulated on their record-breaking efforts. Over the past 10 years, Kansas has raised more than $3.5 million, more than any other city in Australia. Relay for Life 2011 is over, but we must not forget those who are still fighting the battle and continue our efforts to provide hope that one day cancer will come to its end as well.